Hi crafters, I'm Rachel from The Wood Connection and today I'm going to show you how to use your vinyl as a stencil to get your projects look like they've been hand painted. So today we're going to make this really cute home sweet home slat sign. These slat signs are so fun. There are tons of sayings that you can do and lots of ideas. So to get started, I'm gonna take one of our slat boards that we sell at The Wood Connection. These ones are $6.95 and I'm just gonna give it a light sanding. You just kind of want to sand a little bit into the grooves and a little bit on your edges just so it's cleaned up a little bit. So I'm going to use this color called Light Ivory. You want to start with a color that you want your lettering to be. So for this project, the first color I'm going to do is this Light Ivory because that's what my letters are. So you're just going to do one good coat. You don't need to do two. It's okay if it's not perfect and you can still see some of the wood showing through because we're gonna paint over that. So just give one good coat of paint. And you're just gonna do your whole board. You don't need to do your edges. And you do wanna do inside of the grooves of the wood. And you can just take your foam brush. I'm just throwing some paint down in there, kind of moving it around. These foam brushes are really durable and they're really inexpensive. If you accidentally break one, you can just grab another one. So like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect because we're just gonna paint over it. But just make sure you get into your grooves really well. Okay, let's pretend we've got that one done. Okay, so once that's done, I've got this one ready to go. On the back of your board is a T-slot. This is so you can hang it on your wall, so when you're doing your vinyl, you wanna make sure that this is at the top. So I'm just gonna take my vinyl, home sweet home, and I'm just gonna peel it off. These slot signs are so fun because you can customize them to whatever colors you have going on in your home or for a season or holiday, if you have a cute saying that you want to use, we offer a lot of sayings in our store and on our website, thewoodconnection.com. You also want a vinyl applicator for this because sometimes your vinyl doesn't always go right onto the transfer tape. Okay, there we go. So I have my vinyl and I'm just going to lay it down onto my piece of wood. Now, if you've ever worked with vinyl, you kind of get one shot to stick it. So make sure that you like the placement, kind of, I like to get really tall and stand on my toes and make sure that it looks as even as possible. Good enough. Okay, then I'm just gonna take this vinyl applicator and I'm just gonna smooth the vinyl out onto my board. Vinyl is basically just a big sticker. That's all you're doing. And if you had, let's say I'd painted the board blue and you want white on there, you can do that too. It's just a, a board with a sticker on it. But for this technique that I'm gonna teach you, we're gonna make it look like it was hand painted and we're just gonna use the vinyl as a stencil. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel this up. Man, it is not sticking. Maybe we'll start up here. Okay, now that that's on there, just kind of go over it again, smooth it out, make sure it's all stuck on there really good, there's no bubbles or anything. 
Then you're gonna pick your top color. I love this color, it's so pretty. It's called North Sea, it's Delta Ceram Coat. And you're just gonna do that over the top of your vinyl. So you're just going to paint over the vinyl. And kind of be careful as you're going around the edges of the letters, just do your best so it doesn't get under there. The vinyl should stick pretty good, but if you had an area that was kind of difficult, just be careful as you're going around there so that the paint doesn't go underneath the vinyl. So smooth that out. And on this project, you're not, on the second coat, you're not gonna go inside the slats. It's kind of gonna give it that old sign kind of feel. And once that's dry, it'll look like this. So you can see that my vinyl is underneath that paint. And you're just gonna take your nails, or if you've got some nifty tool, just peel that vinyl off, and you're gonna see, how cool is that? It's just a stencil, and you're just gonna throw this vinyl part away. But it's gonna give this sign kind of a hand-painted, unique look. This is turning out so cute, I love it. So you'll just keep going, doing your whole project. You can shop our website, thewoodconnection.com, for lots of sayings and kind of lots of ideas that you can have for seasons and holidays. We have a discount code that we're offering that is in the description. And for more tips and ideas, you can visit us at thewoodconnectionblog.com.